A minor is a young person under the age of 18 years. A minor is not considered to have the same capacities as an adult. One of these capacities is the ability to enter into a legally binding contract. An adult with full mental capabilities has capacity to enter into a contract. Certain persons do not have full capacity. They include the drunk, the mentally disordered, minors, and incorporated associations, corporations, the crown, and public authorities. Important changes to this area of the law were made by the Minors Contracts Act of 1987. The general rule is that a minor is not bound by a contract he enters into during his minority. The purpose of this rule is to protect minors against their own inexperience and improvidence by relieving them of liability on contracts made by them, but in some cases, the rights of the other parties must in fairness be allowed to prevail over this policy of protection. The rule with regard to necessaries in contracts for the sale of goods is defined by Section 3.3 of the Sale of Goods Act 1979. The definition states that necessaries are goods suitable to the condition in life of the minor and to his actual requirements at the time of the sale and delivery. Note that necessaries does not mean necessities, but goods which are suitable to the minor's condition in life and his actual requirements. The liability is to pay a reasonable price, not the contract price. What is a necessary will depend upon the number of factors. See, for instance, Nash v. Inman in 1908 and Peters v. Fleming from 1840. A minor is generally bound by a contract of employment where that contract is beneficial to him. This category includes contracts of apprenticeship, training or employment, and professional engagements. As to the overriding requirement that the contract as a whole must be beneficial to the minor, see for example Doyle v. White City Stadium from 1935 and Chaplin v. Leslie Frewen from 1966. In Proform Sports Management v. Proactive Sports Management in 2006, it was held that a player representation contract entered into by the footballer Wayne Rooney at the age of 15 was not enforceable against Rooney as he was a minor but was voidable at his option. Voidable contracts. In this very mixed group of contracts, the minor may rid himself of his obligations if he repudiates the contract before attaining the age of 18 or within a reasonable time after that. What this means is that the contracts are voidable at the minor's option. A voidable contract is a contract that exists but which one party has the right to set aside or render void. This right can be lost in certain circumstances. The most common of these circumstances is the intervention of a third party who has acquired rights following from the voidable contract. A voidable contract is different from a void contract in that the void contract is an entity which was never a contract. The Minors Contracts Act 1987 restores the possibility of ratification and provides in Section 3 a new remedy of restitution in favor of the other contracting party. This remedy is discretionary, but cases such as Stokes v. Wilson from 1913 and Leslie v. Shield from 1914 illustrate the factors which will be taken into account.